I don't know if you're with me on this right now, but I love back to school night. Anybody feeling just like the presence of the Lord is here? What gets you ready better than back to school night for what God is gonna do this fall? And I'm telling you, I like it because it's a, it like marks a new beginning as we go into the fall. And new beginnings are good things. New beginnings help you go, you know, I might change a few things like as I go into this fall, maybe for some of the students in the place you're like, you know what? I might do my assignments on time this year. Anybody, anybody? Some of you students are like, I might do my assignments some, <laughs> that, that would be a good thing. All the superintendents said, amen. Amen. It's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to make decisions. You know, a decision as you go into this fall could change everything, not just about this fall for you, but for the people around you. That's the power of a decision. It could not only change the fall for you and the people around you, it could change your entire school. It could change your life. I want to talk to you about a decision that you can make, and really it's for every single person, as you go into this fall where God can use this decision to change your life. Speak to you from the subject of giving God your yes. <laughs> giving God your yes. How many of you know that when you put your yes in the hands of Jesus, Jesus can do powerful things with your yes? Jesus brings heaven to earth through your yes. Jesus can move in mighty ways just by you saying, Jesus, if you tell me to go, I'll go. If you say, God, I, I want to use you in this situation, I'm ready, Jesus. I want to give you my yes because I want to see what you're going to do. I want to speak to you just for a moment from the story where Jesus is calling his first disciples. And he, he calls a guy named Philip. And then Philip goes to his brother, Nathaniel, and that's where we're going to pick it up. Philip goes to Nathaniel and says this. He says, Philip, Philip found Nathaniel and told him, we found Jesus of Nazareth. Now, Nathaniel says something that's very spiritual, something that we should all underline in our Bibles. Maybe tonight when you go home, you'll just meditate on it. Look at what Nathaniel says. He goes, Nazareth, can anything good come from there? Come on, Nathaniel, give Philip a break. But he's saying, Nazareth, does anything good come from there? And Philip responds back. He says this. He says, come and see. And at that, Nathaniel gives God his yes. And it changes his life forever. You know, when you give God your yes, sometimes you need to do it in spite of what you see on the surface. When you give Jesus your yes, you need to do it sometimes no matter what you see. Because sometimes a God moment looks like this paper lunch sack. You can look at it and you can be like, is this really a God moment? Because I think like a rotten peanut butter and jelly and a, and a brown banana is going to be in there. You know, God can be saying, hey, I want you to go into talk to that person or I want you to do something in this classroom. And you can feel like, God, this feels like an ordinary day. This doesn't feel, I don't feel like this feels supernatural. But when you give God your yes, sometimes you got to do it no matter what you see. I want to ask Boone Garrison to come on up. Boone, if you can run up here. Brother, just jump up on the platform. Give him a hand as he comes right now. This is a Boone Garrison. Now, Boone is a freshman in high school, but he's on the varsity basketball team. Boone, are you feeling good about basketball this year? Yes, sir. We're going to win state this year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hey, Boone, are you good at basketball? Mm. Mm? That means yes. That's code for yes. So Boone, I want you to reach in here, uh, and I just want you to pull out whatever's in there. Just, just go ahead. It's not a trick. Just pull it out. Just grab it and pull it out. That is a key lime pie concrete from Andes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. People like that key lime pie. Now, let me tell you, Boone might have thought, I don't know what's in here. I don't know. But Boone said yes, just because I asked him, hey, put your hand in there. And Boone got something good out of that. And that, you know, that's what kind of like a God opportunity looks like. You can be like, hey, what good can come from there? But when you give God your yes, something good is about to happen. When Jesus says go, something powerful is about to happen. When Jesus said go, something supernatural is about to happen. But listen, listen, whenever we follow Jesus, he not just blesses us when we are obedient, 
but he always does more. He can say, you know, I want you to pray for that person and they can be healed. He can say, I want you to encourage that person. And that could be a word that changes their entire life. Jesus always does more. So you cannot judge by the surface what you see. Boone, I want you to reach in that bag again and go deep this time. Reach real deep. Reach, and you pull out whatever you see. You just got to pull hard, Boone. Pull hard. I'm going to push down and you pull. Come on, Boone. You can do it. Come on, Boone. You can do it. Yes, there you go, Boone. Boone, these are some LeBrons, Boone. Come on, can you give LeBron's? Now, we want Boone not just to play basketball. We want him to be playing in some LeBron's. Boone, these are for you. We hope you have a great season. You take that concrete, those LeBron's, and give Boone a big round of applause right now. <laughs> Boone came up here. He's just seeing a brown paper bag. He doesn't know what to expect. But all he did was respond and say, yeah, I'll put my hand in there. I'll pull what's out. You know, as you're walking with the Lord, when you give God your yes, there's going to be moments when he speaks to you and says, I want you to go. And you can say, God, I don't, I don't know what good could happen from this. Like, I don't see anything, anything that seems supernatural in this situation. I don't see anything that like says, oh, this has God written all over it. All I hear is that voice that's saying, I want you to go pray for that person. I want you to go tell that person I love them today. But you could be like, well, God, that, that person, they're like the hardest person in school. They're, they're kind of mean, God. I, I don't really see how this could be a God moment. But when you say, God, I'm going to give you my yes, no matter what I see, God always does more than you can ask, imagine, or think. God wants to use you this year, but it's going to start by you saying, God, it's not about what I see on the surface. I'm going to have eyes of faith, God, that when you say go, I'm ready. God, I'm listening. I'm not looking at what I see. I'm looking at what you're doing, God, and I'm ready for wherever you send me because I believe as I go, you're going to do something supernatural and amazing. God, just put me in. I give you my yes. And here's the truth. Not only will God do the supernatural, but when you give Jesus your yes, you're not only going to see him do something, you're going to see him do greater and greater things. You know, Nathaniel saying, okay, I'm going to follow Jesus was just the start. In fact, when he comes to Jesus, Jesus instantly begins to speak in his life. He shows up to Jesus and Jesus says this. He says, here is a true Israelite. Here's truly an Israelite in whom is no deceit. And Nathaniel says this, he's like, hey, how do you know me? Nathaniel asked. And, and Jesus says this, watch. Answered, I saw you while you were still under the fig tree before Philip even called you. Nathaniel, I know everything about you. And you're the guy I want to use. And with that word, Nathaniel's like, you know what? There's only one way you can know that. He says this, he says, you're a teacher, you're the son of God, the king of Israel. Now, I want you to stop for a moment and think about God using you, you giving God your yes. There's a moment where God's going to send you to pray for somebody. And you're going to say, yes, Lord. And you're going to see God do something like this interaction where God gives you a word for somebody that's supernatural where you're like, hey, I just feel like the Lord's telling me to tell you, you've been dealing with this, this, and this, but God's gonna help you and he sees exactly where you're at. And it's gonna be a moment of faith for them. But it's also gonna build your faith that God can work in your life. But I want you to think this, when that happens, because it will happen. I want you to think, God, this isn't the start and the finish, this is just the beginning. God, this isn't all you're going to do. This is just the beginning. God, you don't want me to just impact one person. God, you want me to impact my entire school for you. God, you don't want me to just impact this one person. God, you're sending revival through this situation. God, I know you have more. Look at what Jesus says when Nathaniel's like, wow, that blows my mind. Jesus says this. Do you believe just because I told you I saw you when you were under the fig tree? You will see much greater things than this. 
You know, you can obey your way to great faith. Maybe tonight you're like, man, I, I don't know that I have the faith to see somebody healed or I don't know that I have the faith to go and speak a word to somebody. You know what? Just be obedient. When God gives the moment, he might say, pray for that person. Don't look at you. Don't look at your face. Say, God, you're sending me. I'm ready. And when God touches them and heals them, you say, oh man, I remember that verse at back to school night. I remember when Jesus gave that word to Nathaniel, and then I remember what Jesus said. Oh, you think that's cool that your knee was healed? You think that's cool that I prayed for you and God came into this moment? Oh, we are just getting started. We're gonna see much greater things than this. God is about to send revival like we've never seen before. God is about to pour his spirit out in our schools like a never ever seen before. I hope you're ready for God to move. I hope you're ready to see salvation happen in the hallway. I hope you're ready to see the anointing oil of the Holy Spirit come down in a school assembly. I hope you're ready for the lunchroom to become a church because God sent his presence. But it all starts when you say, God, I give you my yes. God, I'm ready. God, I don't care what I see. God, I don't care what I feel like. God, I want to be there when you're there. I want to give you my yes. I want you to stay standing just for a moment. Because the Holy Spirit is here right now. And he's speaking to hearts right now. Isn't it just like the enemy? You sense the Lord speaking to you and you're like, okay, I'm ready. God, I'm gonna do this, I'm ready. And you stand up and you're cheering. And instantly when you put your hands down, it's like, nah, not you. And you know what? The Holy Spirit's here and he's gonna touch you in this moment as you say, God, I wanna give you my yes this year. And in this moment, what could take forever if you were doing it on your own, in an instant, God can fill you with boldness. In an instant, God can touch you by his spirit and get you ready for this year. In an instant, God can give you a heart for your friends. In an instant, God can move. That's what happens. But it's not just you standing, it's you saying, God, I give you my yes, and then saying, I invite you, God, to fill my heart. I invite you to fill me, Lord, with your presence so I'm ready to go when you say. Thank you so much for joining James River Church on our YouTube channel. Our prayer is that you were encouraged and your faith was strengthened today. And we wanna let you know that we'd love for you to be a part of our online family. As well, we'd love if you subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell for notifications. You'll be so glad you did because we're always putting out great sermons, new worship content, and it helps you know when we go live for our weekly services. We hope you have an amazing day and thank you again for watching. God bless.